What is going on aliens? I'm Mike Rosa and today I got you a really personal video that to be honest I never thought I'd make but I think it's really important one and it can really help a lot of people and I just kind of want to talk about my journey through anxiety and how treating my anxiety I can truly and happily say to everyone I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life and I really really believe it's because I've actually taken into consideration that I'm an anxious person and made an actual difference in my life by taking effect with that and doing something about it and I think a lot of people don't want to admit that they may not be the most mentally healthy but I have no problem talking about my my journey through anxiety and telling you guys my situations and experiences so hopefully it can help a lot of you well I have been an anxious person my entire life now I've never actually thought it was a problem but you know I was a kid growing up I got in a lot of trouble I always hated school I was always worried about everything I was doing and my head was just all over the place and sometimes it definitely was overwhelming but I never acknowledged at this point that I was like had anxiety I never really thought about that I never had any conversations with people about what anxiety even is so as that kept going on I kind of just went through the motions, had my failures, had my successes, and all the different sorts of experiences growing up, just like everyone else. And then I got to a point where I like got into fitness. Me and my mom did the entire insanity program together by Shanti, and that's the first time I ever really, really found out about my love for exercise, my love for working out, and my love for getting better. And I, that's when I fell in love with fitness and anabolic aliens, and now I'm about to get started and all this cool stuff. But I never, even when that happened, when I got like addicted to fitness and working out, that made me a lot more of a calm, happy person just by having something that I was so passionate about. And going to the gym every day was literally the highlight of my day. I looked forward to it all the time. And that really helped balance my whole life. I felt like when I fell, fell in love with the gym, I kind of had my security and established uh, something to keep my life in control and keep everything balanced and keep me happy. And I, that was it. it was, it was a huge stress relief, but I never looked at it as that. I looked at it just as something I loved and I loved making gains. But then as things kept going on, I still kind of felt, I didn't never, I never stopped going to the gym, but I kind of like fell off from certain like ambitions and kind of just being so stressed. Like I would get stressed about making weekend plan with weekend plans with friends just because uh, I didn't, I wanted to be with different groups. I didn't want to upset anyone. I was always thinking about what everyone else was thinking and Trust me, if you're trying to put your head into someone else's, you're gonna go crazy with it. And I never really realized that was such an issue for me um, and until I really graduated college and I could really focus on more of my independence. I actually then went to a doctor for my anxiety. I was like, I'm too anxious and I, I need something to calm me down so I can focus on me, focus on what I wanna do, my ambitions, and make my dreams come true. So I went to the doctor and they put me on 50 milligrams of sertraline. So that's uh, prescribed medication. Um, I, you definitely also you have to go to your doctor to get that. Um, it, I didn't really notice much of a difference from 50 milligram dosage. Um, it didn't do much for me, and I kind of thought, you know what, like this is bullshit. It's it's not working. So nothing's really gonna change how I feel. It's just just how I am. But then my doctor actually put me up to 100 milligrams of sertraline and at the same time I actually partnered with my CBD hemp oil sponsor Herbstrong. Their CBD products have really changed my life along with the combination of the higher dosage. I told my doctor I was actually combining this medication with CBD products and he actually was a huge believer in CBD himself. I didn't really know about any of the benefits at the time, but I took the chance with the company because I was like, you know what, if this is getting supported by my doctor and I might, I might as well give it a shot and then I did and I noticed a hell of a difference with these combination of factors. Now I can't fully contribute it to CBD, I can't fully contribute it to the um, medication I'm taking, but I use the CBD cream on muscle soreness. Now that's not really about, um, that's not really about like the anxiety, but um, it's, <laughs> I'm just shouting out my company, honestly. They're fucking awesome. But then I use CBD drops in the morning and night. This actually helps a lot with my anxiety throughout the day. And when I take it at night, it kind of just puts me to sleep and knocks me out, which I really like. Then I have a CBD vape. Now this just kind of hit it whatever throughout the day. I, I love doing that, you know, it's chill. <laughs> but that stuff, 
along with the combination of the search feeling, immediately I felt like a different person. I was happier. I was more in control of what like I wanted to do. I was thinking of myself honestly for one of the first real times of my life. Meaning like, what do what do what do I want to do? And I I guess I never really figured that out for me until like I started being proactive with actually calming myself down to think about it. And when I got to the point to decide like you know what, this is working, I'm gonna explore different realms of how I can try to ease my anxiety and stuff. And I just, I know I can, I know I can really make something incredible in this world if I can make myself calm down and really just focus on those ambitions. So now I'm going to the gym, I always, for six years now and at this point, I'm going to the gym consistently. Um, I'm using the CBD oils and hemp oils. I really do love them. By the way, my discount code is Alien10 for 10% off your order. That link is going to be in the first comment in the description. Herb Strong, what up? <laughs> but um, I use the CBD products. I'm taking 100 milligrams of sertraline, and then I, guys, I smoke weed here and there, like at the like end of the night or after a workout. Never before a workout, but after or the end of the night, it just it really helps calm me down and. I'm I'm an, I'm an advocate for it. I have to say, like I, I I don't think it really has any reason to have any bad reputation other than obviously smoking isn't good for you, and maybe people don't like the psychedelic properties. But for me, the combination of all these factors has really made a hell of a difference on my life, and it's enhanced it significantly. Now I do want to make a point about smoking weed. Actually, I know a lot of people who smoke weed and get more anxious. Like nothing is gonna work. But everyone's so freaking different. Like, just because it doesn't work for you, it doesn't mean it doesn't work for someone else. So don't think my recommendation, I'm like making recommendations here with this. Basically what I'm saying, this is my experiences and this is what happened to me. And a huge other point I want to mention is, with anxiety, I, it's not an excuse. It is something to be aware of though, in my opinion. What I mean by that basically is, if I stop doing all these things I'm doing to, um, to like calm myself down and help reduce my anxiety, my life would still be great. Like I still would be able to happy. I just kind of be a little more all over the place. But my life would be great. Like I don't need this stuff. But actually focusing on treating my anxiety and making myself relax and just love life and love myself, I notice a huge enhancement on my life. And in my opinion, if you if you can enhance your life, why the hell not? So that's why I'm making this video, honestly. And I know people don't really talk about their mental health experiences. So that's why I'm not even going to include any cuts in this video. I may have talked way too long, but. I hope you guys really like this video and can relate to my experiences because I'm not, I'm the happiest, so I like wearing my hood. <laughs> Shout out to a boogie with the hoodie. Jeez, I'm a freaking weirdo. Um, but real talk guys, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. And you know what's really interesting too? I've, I had an incredibly supportive family growing up. I had great friends and everything was like honestly amazing I was really really lucky for everything I had yet I still f got myself into trouble I still did some stupid things yet learned from a ton of different experiences but it and when, when I really look back at it now I wasn't happy I was going through depressions I was going ups and downs and ever since I've really just kind of helped establish all the security and f feel comfortable with me like I fucking love myself now, guys, and not in an arrogant way. It's just I'm confident that I can make a difference in this world, and I'm and I'm seeing opportunities and seeing goals and setting setting missions for myself to achieve that I don't think would be possible, and I don't think I'd be able to put as much dedication into this channel if I wasn't actually trying to enhance my own life in the process by doing things like lowering my anxiety. So. Guys, you're not alone if you're an anxious person. It's not at all anything to be ashamed of. I don't know why people don't even want to talk about it. I don't give a shit. Like, ask me anything you want. I'll tell you my situation. I'll tell you my story. And, like, well, I, oh, I just want to make one more point. I'm probably freaking rambling about it now. This is why I always do quick cuts. I talk way too much. <laughs> and I talk too fast. And I move my hands. I'm Italian. Uh, but, uh, what was I going to say? Um, but, yeah, um, I'm going to just keep talking until that train of thought comes back. Oh yeah, so exercise. Um, when I was doing it, when I was working out, like in the beginning, I just loved what I was doing and I was working out. But now I'm looking back to it and working. When I was working out, like working out is a proven reduction of anxiety, release of stress, um, releases those endorphins. So, like 
no shit, I was feeling way better. I was going to the gym consistently and making myself feel better. That's another reason you should be working out. It helps your mental health. Physical health and mental health work together. That's a huge factor I don't think people get. We always talk about the physical aspect. Yeah, this, make those freaking gains, have a sick physique, you know, but like put it in yourself to feel better physically. You feel better mentally too. So I think that's something that's not really um, talked about either. Um, and then when I started getting more and more to uh, fitness, I obviously tried, really tried to up my diet and just improve it overall. And I noticed the cleaner I ate, the less, the like the, I felt the less anxiety I had. So basically the opposite, if I ate like crap for like a week or whatever, I just kind of fell off my diet. I, I felt a little more anxious, honestly. So I even think just cleaning up the diet, like I didn't, I haven't researched that aspect of it at all um, regarding um, anxiety, but just cleaning up my diet, I personally noticed that I do feel a huge difference in my energy levels and just my overall motivation and happiness with life. And then, even though I do enjoy my cheat meals, can't forget those. But yeah, and then that's why I also really always make a point about saying, yo, love fitness, go work out, don't skip the gym, make those freaking gains, but make sure you have a social life too and or just doing something that you love so you can have something to really balance everything out. It's not just working out, it's not just eating healthy. You have a fucking brain up there too and you gotta keep that mental mental health just as high as your physical health. And <laughs> you're... <sighs> I, I'm, I'm really, I really mean everything I'm saying in this video, that's why I don't want to miss any points. Um, but yeah, then we go back, so the combination of um, the medication I'm on, sertraline, 100 milligrams, and then I'm combining that with, to be honest, I'm not counting the dosage I'm taking for the CBD, I'm just kind of doing a bunch of oils and shit because I like it. <laughs> and then here and there, um, I'll smoke weed after work out or at night, um, and I can actually do work like that. I know. A lot of people can't, but that's just my situation. I'm just chilling, like I'm focusing on what I'm actually want to do. I never let it get into fear, interfere with any of my goals or anything. If that ever happened, I cut that shit out immediately. But oh yeah, what's oh <laughs> one really more interesting story? This definitely video is gonna be way too long now. But when so when I compete in USAPL, they do drug testing and they actually test for um weed. Um, so I stopped some, I stopped like t taking in any marijuana. Um, I even stopped my CBD products uh, like six to eight weeks before my um, before the competition, so I wouldn't test positive from the drug test. And for anyone who's gonna comment saying that's trying to manipulate a drug test, no. I mean, I guess yeah, but I mean, to me, I you can completely disagree and put some hate in the comments if you really disagree with this, but it's I don't believe weed is a enhancing drug for muscles and strength and size and all that shit. I, I just do it to relax and kind of calm myself down. So if that's really something that you're gonna hate on me for with the rules, fuck off. Um, but yeah, when I had to stop um, that just to make sure I didn't pass for a drug test, I could, just to make sure I passed my drug test if I was drug tested, um, I stopped that completely and I noticed this huge increase in my anxiety and I stopped sleeping as much and it, it, it made a hell of a difference, I'm not even kidding. So I really, I'm a huge believer in CBD products and there are no psychedelic properties in CBD so don't think you get high from doing CBD oils. You do get high from weed but you don't get high from CBD and, and I I freaking love that stuff. All right, guys, I'm, I'm done talking. I talk way too much. Just smash that thumbs up button for me. Let me know your story in the comment section and click the notification bell right next to subscribe so you never miss a new video upload from me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.